Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome to a quick automation and BMG tutorial. Uh, let's just jump right into it. We are going to be making this car in front of us rev to 15,000 RPM in BMG Drive. Right now the car as it sits revs to 9,700 RPM uh, as we can see here in automation. So uh, I'm going to show you guys step by step on how to actually make the car rev higher in BMG Drive. You can make it rev as high as you really want in theory. Um, but after like 15, 20,000 RPM, it, it, it starts to sound pretty ridiculous. So what we're going to do first off is we want to get a car ready to modify in BMG. You want to go ahead and export the car by just clicking the export car to another game button and following the steps there. Uh, I've already exported my car, so we're not going to jump into that. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is find the actual BMG file for the car. Uh, which I'll show you guys how to get there. Give me one second. All right, guys. So the next step here is actually getting the bmg.drive mod and modifying that. Uh, how to get to your bmg.drive mod folder. You can do it one of two ways. You can either do it the long way, which is actually finding the mods yourself by going to your computer's documents. Then you can go to bmg.drive. You can go to mods and you can find your car or all your cars that you've exported here. Uh, and our car is right here, the Seder Burra STD 450. Or you can do it this way as well. You can exit out of that. We can just go to automation and you can click open folder and you'll find the folder just right here. So that pops up right there for you. So now we have the folder in front of us with the bmg.drive mod we want to modify to have more RPM. Uh, the next step, it's pretty simple. Honestly, I've done a bmg.drive uh, tutorial before on giving a car a supercharger. And if you guys want to see that link will be down in the description. First thing you want to do here in Beeman, in the uh, in the documents folder or in the bmg.drive folder for mods, you want to double click and open up the actual car file itself. You'll see this little WinRAR zip thing because I'm using WinRAR to open it. You can use other unzipping programs to access it as well. I just use WinRAR because it's free. Um, we'll make that all fully up on the screen. You want to go to vehicles next, then you can go to Seder Burai STD450 or whatever your car is called. Then uh, you'll see a bunch of different files and stuff in front of you. You want to click the one that says camso underscore engine dot jbeam. There, sh there should be probably a little notepad file, a little notepad sort of icon next to it. Uh, it'll be a pretty small file as well. This one's only 3,995, I think, kilobytes or bytes. I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll double click this to open it up and it'll open up in notepad for me. So now in front of us, we have the actual, all the engine information for beamng.drive for this car. What we're going to want to do we can scroll through the entire thing and see a bunch of different numbers and letters, but we want to go back up to the top here and you'll see all of this. This is the RPM for the car and each at each 100 RPM interval, there's a different torque figure for the car calculated into beamng.drive. Um, so we can see here at 500 RPM, the car makes 278.88. This is newton meters of torque. So this is not a pound feet like I use in automation. It always comes up just as newton meters. You can see here. The car revs to 9,700 like it did in automation, and it makes 600.77 newton meters of torque at 9,700 RPM. Um, what we want to do, of course, is make this engine rev to 15,000 RPM. So what we can do here is actually just copy this little last block. We can go down the line, and we'll just press tab or insert go three, four times. We are lined up, and paste another 9,700, 600.77 line. We base, we just pasted this exact same line under it. So we we copied this. We went down a line and pasted it right here. What you want to do now is just change this number to, let's just say 15,000. Now this is the short way of doing it. You can actually modify this. So right now, we'll make the, now the car, if you just press control S, it saves the file. Or you can go file, save. And now the car revs to 15,000 or it can rev to 15,000 RPM. But at 15,000 RPM, it still makes only the same newton meter to torque. So it's going to make a lot less horsepower because, you know, horsepower is just torque times RPM basically. Um, so we can actually make this a bit higher. We can make this 700 or 800. I'll make it 900 just for fun here. So we'll save it at 900.77. Uh, and there's one last thing you want to do before actually going into, or a couple last things you want to do before going into Beam and G Drive and testing the car yourself. Right here, right here, right here we can see max RPM is 1,000 or 10,185. So basically, um, the car can't rev any higher than what this limit is. You just want to change this number to, let's just say, 16,000. So it just can't rev any higher than that, than that now. As long as the number is higher then your peak RPM, then you're totally fine. Now we just press Control S again, or we can go File, Save Yet again. We can exit out of this. And then you're going to see here, uh, we are back in the open uh, Seder Burai zip folder, and it'll ask you, Campso end underscore engine dot JP was, dot JB was modified. Do you wish to update it in the archive? You want to click Yes, so that saves it in BeamNG. And now we can hop into BeamNG uh, and see if this thing actually does rev to 15,000 RPM. 
Alright guys, so finally we're in BBMG Drive with the Seder in front of us here. And we can see here, the car looks actually pretty great in BBMG. This is actually my first time ever seeing in BBMG. Or no, fantastic. Uh, on the top left of the screen, we can see a horsepower graph. And torque graph, I guess, in a, in a rev RPO. It, it, it's a power graph, yeah. So we can see here all the power and all the revs. We can see it on the bottom right, the actual RPM of a vehicle. I haven't changed anything else, I promise guys. I've just changed those things exactly how we showed you in the video. So now the car revs to 15,000 RPM. You can play around with a lot more stuff in the uh, the the um, Beam and G engine file, the Campso engine file. If you want to change pitch, uh, horsepower, torque, everything at certain RPMs, you can change that in there as well. That's not a full tutorial of that today. Maybe in the future. I'm not too sure. But basically, we can see here the power graph peaks around 9700 RPM before. You can see the little dip right here that I'm going past. And then the RPM and the power starts to go all the way up here. The car makes, you know, like we said, a good amount of newton meters of torque at red line and a lot of horsepower at red line though. Let me actually put in the first gear and drive here. We'll crash, but it is, it is quite a bit faster uh, and, and definitely 15,000 RPM worthy. I actually want to do a video on this at some point, maybe with this car, I'm not too sure. Um, so we'll finish it off here. Like all my tutorials, guys, if you have any questions at all, leave a comment down below, or if you're 13 or over, join the Discord linked in the description, and ask me or ask someone else. Uh, we're all pretty helpful there. Uh, if you guys want to see, like, another Drive tutorial on how to, like, do stuff with your automation cars, let me know down below as well. Let me know what you want to see. I'm open to doing more tutorials. This was a lot of fun. Nice quick video. Um, there's going to be a live stream in a couple hours tonight, so stay tuned for that. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and as always, I'll see you next time.